So a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video demonstrating the C64 Maxi by Retro Games Limited. And I showed you how to add games and I showed you how to update firmware. But I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to actually add games with artwork into the carousel. So you can just scroll through like it's just another game added to it. In other words, adding games to the internal memory of the C64 Maxi. So I'm going to show you what you need and check this one out. Okay, first things first, if you've not yet subscribed and you like what you see today, just subscribe and hit notifications. I'm a big C64 geek and you can find lots of C64 videos in my playlists. So what we need to do then is download this C64 Maxi game tool. Now, as of now, this won't work on the mini version of the C64. This is exclusively for Maxi. So we need to download this tool and I'm going to leave the link in my description and you can download this one just here, uh, the C64 game tool. So just download this one and that should now be downloaded. So once you've downloaded this, you're going to get a zip file. All we're going to do is just open this up and just drag the C64 game tool onto your desktop. So we can delete this one now. We no longer need that. And what I'm going to do is just open up this C64 game tool. You've got a vice folder in here and we've also got the C64 game tool. So I'm going to open up this one and just read through this at your own leisure or just scroll to the bottom and just go to I agree. And it says your game database is empty. You should now add some games. Well, that's okay. So what we're gonna do then to get this process started is actually add some games to this. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to add. And first of all, we're gonna put the game name in. So of course, my favorite C64 game of all time is Flimbo's Quest. So I'm gonna type into the top Flimbo's Quest. And the author and composer. Now, if there are specifics you want, I recommend going over to Lemon64. So we're on Lemon64 and everything is pretty much here what we need. So if we refer back to this tool just here, the author of this game is likely under the coder. So we got three authors or coders. So just copy and paste that and put that into your author section. And the composer for Flimbo's Quest is obviously under musician. So I'm going to just copy both of these names copy and then just simply paste this into composer and the year of flimbo's quest was 1990 and the genre of it is obviously a platformer so platform now the next section of this is where we link our game up to generate a dot bin file to add into the c64 maxi so i recommend cartridge files so that's dot crt files or security certificate files you can put these 64 images in or even tap images but just be mindful that these are going to take some time to load up so for easiness and a quick loading time i'm going to go for a dot security file so i'm going to go to game and i'm going to add my game so here it is limbo's quest security certificate double left click now the cover, uh, if we open this one up, it's asking for a .png. I've tried JPEGs and this won't work. So what I do for this is just go to Google and I type in Flimbo's Quest PNG. And if we go to images, what I'm going to do is just download a .png image, say for the front cover of the game. Uh, let's just go for this one here, for example. So I'm going to right click on this and go to save image as, and now this is actually a JPEG file. So this one's no good and just make sure you download PNGs. Even though I put PNG in to the search bar, uh, you know, it's not always going to be accurate. So we can keep going through this until we find a PNG. And here we go, PNG. So it's not the greatest uh, cover art for Flimbo's Quest, but this is just a setup guide. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. And here it is. So here is my cover art. So I'm going to double left click on Flimbo's Quest. And that's my cover. And we can also put screen images in here too. So if I go back to Google and search for an image, which is in .png. Again, this is JPEG. And this can take a little bit of time to uh, find something. 
But once we're there and there we go, it's going to look pretty good. And your carrots also save this one. Now under screen, we're going to select that gameplay cover we just downloaded. And this is 6331. Now for your description element of this, I recommend just typing in the name of your game and you'll luckily get Wikipedia come up for that particular game. So I'm going to just copy and paste the first part of the overview for this and just copy that. And I'm going to paste it into the description. And we also need to define if this is going to be working from uh, port 1 or port 2 on the joysticks. So this one's going to be for joystick 2 or port 2. And a system, we can also put VIC-20 games in here. Uh, but this is obviously a C64 game. So I'm going to press OK. And this is what it's going to look like on our carousel on the C64 Maxi. So next thing I'm going to do is actually go to make FW. And that's obviously make firmware. I'm going to also go to backup games and backup NAND. And I'm going to go to make. And what I'm going to do next is make sure that my USB stick is actually inserted into my laptop. And I'm going to save this firmware to my USB stick, which I'm then going to plug into my C64 Maxi. So save. And I'm going to just find my USB stick, which is C64. And you'll see that I've got a few files in there already. I've already done this prior to doing this video. But I'm going to save it again. And for you, it won't say overwrite because this will be your first time. For me, I'm going to just go to overwrite and press yes. And that file is now copied to your USB stick. And we can close this down. And there we go. So there is my dot bin. And this is going to contain Flimbo's Quest. So what I'm going to do next is just pull this out of my laptop and plug it into my 64 Maxi. So for this part, just take your USB stick out of your computer and I recommend plugging it into the back of your C64 Maxi. And then just simply turn on your C64 Maxi. And what I'm going to do once we're into the carousel, I'm going to just go to the spanner or rather the wrench. And from here, if I go to system information, it's going to find that dot bin that we just put onto the USB stick. So from here, you go to apply and that's going to install our game into the carousel. Now, I've got the music turned off for this one. And if we just scroll across until we come to our game. And there we go. So the image I'm using for this is a little bit stretched, but you get the idea. And as long as you put the work into it, you can actually get a very good cover for your C64 game. So let's just boot up Flimbo's Quest. And you do this just as normal as you would any other C64 game. And here we go. So this is a security certificate image. And... Because we've got a maxi, we can actually type this out. So this is a trainer version. So just use your keyboard. No, 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 no. And there we go. Like I said, I've got no music on this just for this setup guide, but you will have music. And here we go. Awesome stuff. Now, in terms of can you save games just like you can on the games which comes preloaded with the maxi, Yes, you can. I'm pressing my bottom right bumper here and we can save in load state. We can have virtual keyboard up here. So everything is here as a normal game is on the C64 Maxi carousel. So that's it for my C64 Maxi and adding your own games with this really awesome tool. If you like what you see today, like I said, hit notifications and also subscribe. I'm always uploading emulation-based content. But until next time, stay retro. Thank you.